Good day everyone. Today we are considering Theory of Consumer Behavior Part 2. Under this heading, we are going to consider subtopic under it that is relationship between total, average and marginal utility. And also we are considering relationship between marginal utility and the, the mind curve. Let's get started with the relationship between total, average and marginal utility. We are going to understand this relationship by examining one of them, each of them one after the other. Total utility refers to the total satisfaction obtained from the consumption of all possible units of commodity. That is the addition of all the satisfaction or utility we derive from that particular goods or services. Let's illustrate it this way. For example, you decided to take some glass of ice cream. You attach unit to each of this cup. For example, you take the first glass, you attach a unit of 20. You take the second cup, the unit, you attach the unit of 16. You take the class, third cup, you attach the unit of 10. Remember that this unit you are attaching is the level of satisfaction. Then the summation of all this satisfaction, that is 20 plus 16 plus 10, give us what 46 so the total satisfaction we derive from these different cups of ice cream we took is what total utility now what is now what is marginal utility marginal utility is the satisfaction we derive from consuming additional quantity of giving goods and services then what of average utility average utility is derived by simply dividing the total utility by the total unit consumed. So we can see that both the marginal utility, the total utility are, all of them are closely related. Because without the marginal utility, that is additional satisfaction derived from consuming a particular goods or services, there will not be total utility. That is the, that is the summation or addition of all the utility derived. Then without marginal utility, we cannot get average utility. This takes us to relationship between marginal utility and the demand curve. Marginal utility and the demand curve, how are they affected? How is marginal utility affecting the demand curve? The marginal utility, which consumer derives from consuming goods or services, influences his willingness to demand and pay for more commodity. When there's marginal utility, then consumer willingness to pay will decrease. When there's willingness to pay by consumer when the willingness to pay by consumer decreases, what happens? It automatically results in decrease in demand. And when there's a decrease in demand, what happens? It will directly affect the demand curve. That is the demand curve with downward sloping. That is how it's been illustrated in this graph here. We can see because when, when marginal utility continues to decrease because of decrease in level of satisfaction, it automatically affects the pre willingness to pay. Look at it at this curve. The willingness to pay decreases for from 20 to 15 to 10. And as the willingness to pay, that is the price, continues to decrease, it affects the demand. The demand will automatically decrease also. That is how it's decreasing from 12, 9, 17, 11, and to 4. Now, what have we understand so far for the course of this lesson? We are able to establish that total utility is the total satisfaction we obtain or derive from consuming all possible units of commodity. We also establish that marginal utility is the willingness to pay. When there is a marginal utility, then the willingness to pay will do what? We decrease. We also mentioned during the course of this study that when the willingness to pay by consumer decreases, it will automatically result to decrease in demand and in extension result in downward slope of the mind curve. This is the end of today's class. See you same time next week. Bye.